Hey folks, Daniel Osborne here with Rapid Cab and online at rapidcab.taxi. What we're doing here is a training video. Today, you're gonna get an overview of what to do in order to do this job for this company. Congratulations for making it onto the team, by the way, and if you haven't made it onto the team, but you are interested in it and you have stumbled across this video, we are probably looking for drivers, and if we aren't, we're probably interested in making a franchise of what we're doing in your city. So, call us. Or better yet, text us, if it's about the job, text us rather. It's 1-605-872-8787. Think about the verse in the scriptures, Isaiah chapter 38, verse 7. There's 387 in the phone number. 387. 605-872-8787. Okay? Alright. So, one of the most important things that we're going to do and talk about um, as we do this job is paperwork. Every single time that we answer the phone, Rapid Cab, how you doing? Or Rapid Cab, this is your name. How you doing? Um, and uh, what can we do for you? You know what I mean? Well, your own custom greeting for how you answer the phone. We'll talk about it more specifically um, as we dial in how we want to answer the phones. Um, collectively, because we're not collective yet right now. We're in the very beginning stages of this development. So, one of the first thing you're going to be doing is writing down on your paperwork at the beginning of every shift your name, then how many miles are on the vehicle that you're driving at the start of your shift. The date, all this is on the top, okay? And then just uh, a number one. Oh, also identify the vehicle that you're driving. You're gonna write number one for your first run. In the first column, your pickup location. The second column, drop off location. The third column is the fare. That's the only one that you need to be concerned about for your hourly wage. Um, calculations. Uh, you are going to be getting paid in cash every day and then reconcile at the end of the week for any uh, differences in, uh, in your income for that week. Okay? You're earning 50% of every dollar you make on your shift for the company. The only thing you're doing is covering gas. We cover insurance, repairs, emergency things, marketing, training, everything. Contracts. We do all of it, okay? You're just paying for fuel and uh, and uh, refreshments along the way. Okay, tips basically pay for fuel. Um, unless you have an outstanding day, then you have a little extra, quite a lot extra in some days. Okay, um, let's see. Right, the fare is the total amount of the cost of the ride. In the fourth column, you're gonna write down your tips. In the fifth column, you're gonna write down your grand total. If it's a credit card sale, next to the fare, you can write CC and a little circle around it. You're making a round trip, it's gonna be a larger dollar amount, right? So you can write an R, write a little circle around it. If it's a voucher, instead of cash or credit, it'll be circle around it, right? At the end we'll reconcile that. We'll get more, we'll get down more to the uh, to the end of shift paperwork at the uh, end of this video series. Perhaps in the end of this very video. Okay. So you picked up the phone. Grab a cat, it's Daniel. Okay, where are we picking you up from? Okay. And where are we going? Awesome. What's the last four of your phone number? Because you have a record of it. Parentheses, because you have a record of it in your phone. You just need to go back to your phone. You're gonna have a virtual copy of the, of the company's phone number on your phone so you can answer the phone and turn it off when you're not on duty. Otherwise, everybody's phone rings. Somebody's picking it up and doing the dispatch work, okay? We'll have a, we'll have a dedicated dispatcher by the time you come on board with us, more than likely. So, now, oh, back on the phone. Okay, great. Well, I'm on a, I have a customer with me right now. Give me about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Okay? Or I don't have a customer on me right, or on me. I don't have a customer with me right now. Wow, I'm going to have to edit that out. Maybe not. Maybe it's funny. Okay. <laughs> if I don't have a customer with me right now, then, um, then just how long does it take me to get from where I'm at to where they are? Okay, maybe plus or five, plus or minus five minutes, uh, depending on traffic conditions. Uh, but generally, we're gonna be where we gotta go within 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, if we have a customer with us, typically between 25 and 35 minutes, depending on where we are in, uh, in the process of that ride. Okay, so, back on the phone, right? Okay, yeah, it's gonna be about 20 minutes. All right, great, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, bye-bye. <clears throat> Click, right? All right, so. We go pick up the customer. 
if we're in, uh, depending on the vehicle that we're in, if we're in one of the minivans, uh, especially with the electric doors, we're gonna boop, open it up for them. Welcome them into the vehicle. If they're uh, not ambulatory, which means if they can't walk very well, or they have a walker or a wheelchair or crutches, we're gonna get out of the car and help them. Um, if we're dealing with, uh, one second, honey. Um, all right, we'll back again. One second. All right, so what we're doing, um, a lot of the time in this job is helping other people. Okay, if we're dealing with somebody that is an older person and doesn't have uh, the strength to carry their groceries, we're gonna help them do that. Okay, if we find somebody that's overly intoxicated and can't even walk, we're gonna take them to detox, okay? Um, with their permission, right? If somebody's having a crisis, we're gonna take them to crisis care, like a serious crisis. We're gonna talk to them about it first, right? But we do these kind of things. This is a ministry. Anytime we take somebody somewhere that's not going to an airport or a hotel, it's generally having kind of a bad day. So, we have an opportunity with a captive audience to make an impact in lives, and that's exactly what the focus of this is. But we're gonna make some money doing it, and we're gonna get started yes, back again. We, we have, uh, I just uh, experienced a little, uh, well, what if this happens moment that we can talk about now? What if you are on your way to a customer and something comes up, or there's traffic, or you see a car accident, and you need to call in and see if you need to be of service in that moment? You never know. If something like that happens, or you get a call and it overlaps with a time call you forgot about, which really try to avoid, but if that kind of a thing happens, what you need to do is simply call the customer back. These are your friends, they're your buddies, basically. They're helping create your paycheck. They're helping put food on the table and, mal and food in, your, in the mouths of your children. These are people we wanna take care of. They sustain the company, they help us, we wanna help them. So we're just gonna call them and communicate with them. It's as simple as communication. Right, if we have basic communication, we call them back, we let them know what's going on. We be honest with them about what's going on. Protecting the reputation and the image of the company, of course. Um, but still, we just let them know. And nine times out of 10, mostly 10 times out of 10, actually, they're completely understanding. And if they get a little frustrated, okay. That's a natural response to things. Don't take it personal. Take it lightly, okay? But take it seriously. Hey folks, Dan right. here, Rabbit and Cab again, and we're gonna talk quickly about the requirements for the job, the technical requirements. Um, you cannot have any DUIs or at-fault accidents within the last five years. Sometimes we can push it and make it three, but typically five years, okay? Speeding tickets, basic traffic violations, or minimal, like, mild, minor, there you go, minor traffic violations, don't really care. Insurance doesn't care too much uh, most of the time, but just no at-fault accidents, no DUIs, no serious stuff, okay? Uh, then you're gonna need to get a taxi license, which means that you are going to need to pay $125, which is reimbursable after your first day of work, or second, depends. Um, and then uh, you have to bring cash. And if you're in Rapid City, and the, the, not to me, uh, to the city finance office. You have to be vetted by the chief of police in that city. And what that looks like is that you go down to across the street from the bus station, if you're in Rapid City, uh, to the city finance building. And from there, uh, you just walk into the front doors. Uh, go to the front desk and ask them for a taxi application. Fill it out, pay them up. Uh, they're gonna give you a phone number to call to get your fingerprints taken. You get that done, and two weeks later, you get a taxi license, generally. Um, now, if you have a little bit of a criminal background, as long as the obvious stuff like embezzlement or anything, you know, violent or, you know, questionable for this industry, you would not uh, be approved. Um, but if you have some other thing, maybe you have a, like an ingestion charge for a controlled substance five years ago or something like that. Um, if you, you know, those kind of things, especially with a letter of support uh, from yourself to the, uh, the fingerprinting and background check office, um, a lot of the times they will understand and give you that opportunity. So um, go ahead and get it done. All right, and then uh, lastly, you need to pass a drug test. And we'll talk about that here in just a minute. Don't freak out, don't go yet. Four hey, seconds. All right, hey, let's talk a little bit about the drug test. So, no hard drugs, no illegal drugs. If you have drugs in your system, you're not getting the job. Unless you have a prescription for it, which would include cannabis, if there's cannabis in uh, our THC, in your, uh, in your drug analysis. It doesn't really bother me much. There's, there's absolutely zero smoking on the job. There's zero smoking before work, anywhere near, anywhere near uh, time to come on. Uh, the police can and do check to see how recently you've smoked. 
based on a mouth swab. If it's been within three hours, you're getting a DUI, losing your license, going to jail, and losing your job. You know, you know, so just don't do it. Um, all right, so that's about it on that part of things. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, using your hazard lights because we need to use these constantly. Anytime we're at the airport, anytime we park, anytime that we're anywhere, especially in a handicapped spot, because uh, we have a handicapped customer, anytime we're in the no parking area at Walmart, for example, hit the hazards and uh, and just and just hang out. You know, do what you gotta do. Take the customer in, whatever. And we are never leaving the keys in the car, ever. We always lock the car when we leave. We never leave customers in the car unattended. Uh, we never leave the car unattended unless it's locked. Um, let's see. What else is important to know? Well, more will come to me in a moment, so I'll be back in about four seconds. All right, bye-bye.